President Trump is the first incumbent in 28 years to enter the first debate trailing in national polls. And tonight we're learning more details of the president's personal finances, including how he struggled with business losses until a lucrative new opportunity emerged from reality TV. Here's CBS's Ben Tracy. With his staff cheering him on as he left for Cleveland, President Trump avoided reporters' questions about his finances. Mr. President, who do you owe money to? He won't be able to avoid those questions tonight. His own aides say they expect he'll be hit immediately on revelations he avoided paying taxes for years, along with allegations his reputation as a savvy businessman was a facade. According to tax documents obtained by the New York Times, in 2002, the president lost more than $350 million. In 2003, it was nearly $90 million. But then a lifeline arrived. You're fired. According to the Times, Mr. Trump made $197 million from his hit TV show, The Apprentice, and leveraged his celebrity to earn another $230 million in deals and endorsements. You'll absolutely love Trump steaks. He became a profitable pitch man, paid half a million dollars to promote double stuff Oreos, 15 million for Serta mattresses, another half million to hawk Domino's pizza. Still got it, Donald. Still got it. According to the Times report, Mr. Trump made more money promoting his business skills than actually running his businesses. Many of those are reportedly bleeding money, and the president is now hundreds of millions of dollars in debt. Democrats say it's a national security concern. Tell us, who do you owe the money to? And um, do you owe debt to any foreign nation? Another issue the president will face tonight is coronavirus, and CBS News has learned that White House officials, including Dr. Deborah Birx, pressured the CDC to minimize the risk of coronavirus to children to get schools to reopen more quickly. Now, a former CDC official tells us that the White House was slicing and dicing the data to fit its narrative. Nora. Ben Tracy, thank you.